What a moment for the Holo albums, standing with two of the galaxy's most famous, or should I say, notorious spacers. Captain, I'd like to introduce you to Vaz Tranif. He's, um, how do I say this delicately? I rob ships. I thought you'd appreciate knowing that more than one of his hits has been against Rogan the Butcher. Wish I could have been there to see that. I'm the last one who was that's still standing. That mug's been coming after my crew since the last job we pulled on him. Picked them off one by one. Now the huts have my best vault cracker. We don't stop them, they'll sell them to Rogan for the price of his head. What's this we? Vaz's partner, Combo, was taken by the huts while doing preliminary scouting for what could be the heist of the millennium. An Imperial Treasury starship, the King's Ransom, is in orbit just off Nar Shaddaa. I don't have to tell you the kind of credits we're talking about. Ooh, that'd be hitting those Imperial thugs where it hurts. You could be righteous and rich. I figured you'd want in. What kind of haul are we talking about? My understanding is this ship is carrying the product of all trade between the Empire and the Huts on Nar Shaddaa. Help me rescue Combo, raid the ship, and we'll split it 50-50. It's not often you get the chance to thumb your nose at Rogan, strike a blow for the Republic, and still walk away with enough to retire on. You wouldn't have come to Darmus if you could do this yourself. 60-40. Darmus wouldn't have introduced us if he thought you could do it alone. 50. I'm sure you two will work out the details. Rogan's Lieutenant Strilith is going to pick Combo up at a hut cartel safe house on Nar Shaddaa. Boz has the coordinates. I'll meet you there. If we don't manage to rescue Combo, deal's off. You're going home empty-handed, Strilth. Kusa, punyo blasto wanki kia tu konchi. Na bisga kurbalia biti bodenya. How long do you want to gamble that Rogan's empire stays bigger than mine? Na power kulka toroni kuna wa wunda donko. Not my noya choski na wi kuchusu yo mata chitoya. Crispa mon ki chis. No jaki jawa. Jo do ge gwanga joska. You kill everyone here, Captain. Who's to say who did it? Strilth's not known for working things out peacefully. Vaz, I I knew you'd save me, Vaz, buddy. I I just knew it. Frame Rogan for killing Rascuro. You cut off his ties to the entire Hut cartel. I wouldn't risk it, Captain. Huts make bad enemies. Not such good friends either, come to think of it. You heard the other option. Who do you want to be working with in the long run? Blasto chi di wanawanga.
told you I wouldn't let them hold you. I told them you'd come for me, Vaz. They didn't think you could do it. Thanks lots for bringing Vaz here. I was real scared without him. You shouldn't have let the hut walk, Captain. No points for live enemies. If I can do my work without bloodshed, that's how I prefer it. Everyone's got quirks. Now we hit the Imperial treasure ship. Darmus made arrangements for us to use one of the Republic's secret shuttle pads to get up there. I'll transmit the specs and meet you. Then we'll bilk those Imperials out of more credits than you've ever seen. Surprised to see me? Who do you think pulled the strings to let you use this shuttle pad? Darmus told me what you're doing. It's quite heroic, really. The Treaty of Coruscant forbids official strikes on non-military vessels. We're lucky you're not bound by that. I'd hate to have to share the spoils with a whole squadron. And I'm sure they're thrilled not to share the risk with you. Just a warning, then. The Empire is moving reinforcements into the area. Be careful. The shuttle pad's right over there. This is the ship we'll use to rendezvous. It's Imperial Salvage, so it's good camo. Combo's cracked a signal we need to dock with the King's Ransom. What happens once we dock? Bay's filled with empty cargo containers. Me and Combo will hide in one while you pilot us in. I in one? After you secure the hangar bay, pop us, and we'll loot the vaults from inside. W will you hold my hand, Vaz? You know I don't like the dark. Didn't I show you I won't let anything hurt you, bud? Just climb in. Nice and easy. Spring us when we're clear. What are you doing poking around here? The only arrival code we've received is for Imperial Starship 2423T6H3L5. Pilot Lieutenant Commander Anaya Arolia Cleone of the Chiss Alliance. Do you really want to be talking about stuffy landing permits at a time like this? What are you... Oh, an... oh no, oh, no, I I'm on duty. Just show me your rooms and I'll wait until you get off. No! You... you impertinent vixen! I will not be seduced away from my duties. My love of the Empire is as the sun to the... Oh, for the love of... Move it along, Captain. Get the vaults, Combo. When he's got the security down, we should split up. Hit as many vaults as we can before they lock down again. Meet you back here when we're done.
That ought to fix you. at him far beyond his station. What do the Dark Lords possibly see in this scheme to replace soldiers of the Empire with pathetic, lawless criminals? Who are you? How did you get in here? What are three very important-looking Imperial moths doing skulking around in some ray-shielded closet? The ship is under attack! Call for reinforcements! The Void Wolf! The King's Ransom is under attack. I command you to use all your fleet's resources to drive off this invasion. Now, as you always remind me, I wasn't born to the Imperial military. So I may have the power structure wrong, but I'm pretty blasted sure I outrank you. I'm getting the feeling you guys don't like each other. You're the one they're begging me to save them from? I guess there are things pathetic lawless criminals are good for after all. You're bound by the rules of warfare to send reinforcements when an Imperial vessel is under attack. Oh, did I not mention? The Empire just declared war on the Republic and all its representatives. And as Article 17 of the Xios Convention states, an Imperial Admiral is justified in destroying Imperial targets at risk of falling into enemy hands. With the Captain's track record, I just can't take that chance. Captain, get back here! 
Get to the hangar bay. There's an Imperial battle cruiser attacking the ship. The whole thing's gonna blow. Better? Oh. What are you waiting for? Let's launch this ship. I hate Imperials, crazier than a hut on Glitterstem. What kind of morons blow up their own ship so it don't get looted? We stumbled onto some kind of internal power play. The Void Wolf just took down three moths. Good. Let them blow each other up. Long as we got the money. Let's split and then let's split, you know? I don't want to chance anyone following. How much do we get? Here's everything I got. What do you have? I'll have Combo Tally. He's good with numbers and honest like a Jedi. Been nice working with you, Captain. You're good people. Come on, Combo. Let's go see what kind of hidey hole this hall can buy us. Thanks, Captain. Hands off the Senator. Captain! I thought you were dead. The ship, I saw it explode. Meg fed the part on Hoje S. Foot taught ki a tengere. S a silgo terben a ser zet lakata. Got out of picture. I owe you again, Captain. Though I'm not sure whether to be grateful or blame you for bringing this trouble down in the first place. What are those things? Have you ever seen an animal like this? The beast looks modified. I can't make heads or tails of the original form. Well, I'll pay good money to find out what they are. And how Rogan the Butcher got his hands on them. He's just managed to move himself from thorn in my side to public enemy number one. So, what's the plan? Send a strike team? Sick the SIS on him? Why would I want to do that when I have you? Rogan is the Void Wolf's most dangerous tool. I think the time has come to take down his criminal empire once and for all. And I thought going legit meant I wouldn't have any fun. Just don't let your maniacal giggling make you lose sight of how dangerous he is. Find out anything Darmus knows about Rogan's businesses, and where he might have gotten those things that attacked me. Then, we can figure out how to best work this plan into the larger war effort.
Welcome back, Captain. Senator Dodonna's already called to rave about how you just saved her life. Meaning the whole Republic's backing you when you finally take down Rogan. Not bad for somebody from the wrong side of the hyperlane. If Rogan goes down, as far as anyone's concerned, I did it single-handedly. With a spoon. Blindfold, and after four shots of Corellian whiskey, of course. You're definitely off to a good start. He's lost a lot of influence since you cut him off from the huts. Let me get the Senator on the link. She's going to want to hear what I found. What is it? And talk quickly. I got pulled out of a vote for this. Creatures Rogan sent at you seem to be cybernetically modified versions of native Vossian wildlife. Voss? As far as I know, no native animal has ever been legally exported off Voss. Is this somewhere I should have heard of? Voss is a newly discovered world. Very isolationist. They're governed by some strange cult of Force users. I'll try to wrangle you a landing permit, but it'll take time. We shouldn't wait. Rogan's finally vulnerable. And the captain's gained quite a reputation recently. If anyone's going to step into Rogan's shoes, Captain, this is the time, and yours are the lovely feet. I wouldn't turn down a chance to rule the galactic underworld with an iron fist. Unfortunately, the only one who knew all of Rogan's secrets was his mentor, Ivory. And he disappeared years ago. That's not entirely true. Rogan's predecessor was arrested by the Republic. To my knowledge, he's still incarcerated in a top-secret facility on Belsavis. This is highly restricted knowledge. Even within the Senate, not everyone knows of Belsavis. You must not repeat any part of this. Isn't that more the Empire sort of thing? It's hard to be the good guy. If you don't kill offenders outright, you need a place to put them. It may take months to get the permits for Voss. Belsavis will be easier. Ivory and Rogan were like father and son. If you can find him... He'll know Rogan's hideouts, stashes, things we'd never find ourselves. This is a man who used to sell children to the huts for gladiatorial games. The Republic will insist on tight restrictions for dealing with him. But it's worth it. If you're going to war with Rogan, Belsavis will be your first battleground. I'll get the permits in order. Rogan has no idea who's coming after him. Bet you were surprised to see I can hold my own in a fight. I'm pretty good with a blaster. My father taught me to shoot when I was four years old. Sounds like Nock didn't give you much of a childhood. Are you kidding? His lieutenants were terrified of me. They let me do whatever I wanted. Father wanted me self-sufficient as early as possible. Said I'd need it to survive. He was right. I still remember the day he told me he was going to sleep for a while. Said I was on my own. Going to sleep? He must have thought he was dying. Oh no. He always treated me like an adult. I knew what was happening, even if I didn't understand it. I was 11. Made my first solo hyperspace jump and flew to Dantooine. Father had a hideout there. Talk about your one bantha planets. For a few years, Dantooine's population was doubled thanks to me and Father frozen in carbonite. You had one messed up childhood, Risha. It's a wonder you didn't come out crazy. Looking back, I should have been miserable, but it was just a big adventure. Speaking of which, we're overdue for some more excitement. What do you say we get back to our latest caper? Your crew is welcome to me. I did not expect that. What's the usual protocol for Mandalorians turning against the Empire and joining a shiftless spacer's crew? I would call no part of that usual. It was not a coincidence I came to you on Belmora. Your name is famous among bounty hunters for the price both Skavik and Rogan put on you. I wanted to see who was worth so many credits. What can I say? My friends are generous. Greedy men are willing to throw away fortunes on you. 
but I value more than credits. I would not give this up for a bounty. Have I said thank you yet? If not, just remind me, and I will, twice a day, like atmospheric suppositories. Uh, I mean, uh, most women aren't so forgive and forget. I, uh, probably shouldn't keep reminding you not to trust me. I'm counting on you to be so helpful that I forget all about it. Ha! Ah, that's a good one! For a second there, I thought you were serious. By the way, can you tell that Corso guy to maybe see a doctor about his snoring? How does anyone sleep on this ship? Just, uh, uh, tell me if you need anything, Captain. Uh, I'll be on the comm link, trying to order some decent food. Why is that? How did you end up with Druga? I hope I've been some help to you, Captain. Because you've sure taught me a lot. I mean, I'd done my share of fighting, but you've got it down to an art. I got no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making it up. Then you think better on your feet than anyone I've met, Captain. I put my life in your hands every day.